we go to the next step. Today, we said in summertime, we carry on with our work in respect to uh, health section. Health section is not dictated, connected by no government, no nation, no no health authorities. It's you who decide how you want to take the frontiers of knowledge. All of you now, people went to United States 500 years ago to become the, what do you call it, the frontrunners of the new continent. Now all of you are the frontrunners of new science, new technology. Today, we listen to um, Brennan, in how far there is. If any of you wants to come on with the experiment support of what else you done, or go on the Cash Foundation uh, forum and put your, uh, what I call attestation, or your uh, confirmation of what you've done. Don't write to us what is good. Write down what went wrong, or what you had to do, because then we learn, the others can support us to learn more. How you use the medical application, and how what was the response? We need the feedback. Keshe Foundation is an open-minded organization. And the organization is you. No one allows anyone to come and show things like this, or teach so freely. You have created a new generation of scientists without borders. Without colors, without race, without religion borders. We have to understand one thing very clearly. If we do not share knowledge the way we are doing as one race, then when one of us gets into problem, it's our sister, our brother across the world. We don't want no one to be hurt by it. It's not going to be an easy path. It's going to be problems, we make mistakes like everybody else, but at least we are open about it. We don't hide it. This is the only way humanity can go into the step of developing new way to save pain and to stop the suffering. Please be open about what you find out. As I always say to everyone, we like to know more with what has gone wrong with the process than right, because then we find a solution what is wrong, we'll think, we'll find as a family worldwide how we can change it. We see new technologies on the health is coming. I've seen people going to people who claim to be doctors for advice for different things, and the advice they send me a copy of, I can shoot the doctors, right in their thinking. Because they think they understand nanotechnology, they understood, they advise the wrong way, and the people do it, because the doctors are still trying to turn the, uh, the people back into the realm of their work, where they don't understand the plasma technology, but they claim to do. I've seen a couple of these in the past 24 hours. Advising people to do things, which actually can cause damage, because it's nothing to do with the technology, is the way they mix the technology with the wrong thinking and equipment, and telling people what to do. But because it sounds like it's the foundation work, people listen to it, because they attach themselves to the foundation. We are trying to build a structure, and in the coming time, we will make a structure around the health. In that structure, we have to know how we use, for what pain, for what growth. A number of people have asked me to explain more about growing things. Let me explain to you, if you are okay with the next um, few days, Keshe Foundation become direct manufacture of his own equipment, directly with a um, team of scientists. So, we will release equipment that other Keshe Foundations around the world can use for amputation, for growing materials, growing fingers, growing toes. We are not ashamed to release it, because till it's not tested, we do not know. Then you can give it to the doctors in the hospitals too, because you can't be in the operating room. We will open the frontiers by releasing solid materials, solid systems that can be used. I had a long discussion yesterday with these people. So, in the coming weeks, maybe in the next three, four weeks, you can come to Keshe Foundation, if you know somebody's got an amputation, if it is amputated months ago, 
we cannot touch. Doctors have to be able to put the system in operation at a point of habitation. Then, we have to wait for a process of regeneration over months, the system as it works. The way it works, and this is how you have to explain to the doctors, is that, if this is the end of the amputation, as I explained, and you cut the finger, let's say this is a, the finger, and is amputated at this point. Now, you have an interface here. What you do, you place the system facing the cut. That's all you need to do. And you mount it on the perfect side of the finger. Your body continuously, all the time, 24 hours a day, every second, sends information to replace different parts of this part of this toe, this finger. So what happened, without you knowing, you're replacing parts. It's like you're redecorating the house. But a lot of doctors who don't understand, they say we use only 5% or 15% of our brain. The other 85% is not used. This is the doctors who don't understand nothing about the work of the brain. The 85% is continuously monitoring every single cell in your body, when is a due date to replace, to have the material ready forward for it, everything pre-planned two, three months, year before, that this cell needs to be changing in a 12 months time. It's a service industry. So, the information sits there. When you amputate, the information comes here, but, as we said, it takes the lymph, it takes the blood, and then it takes the information from the neurosystem to gel these together as one cell. So, when the information comes, the lymph and blood are always there. The electric current, which is specific for this cell, comes, and because it's not delivered, it creates, it releases its energy at this point, this energy builds up, and has to go somewhere. So, you call it a phantom pain. With putting this system in front of it, what happens? Because this system is gravitational, magnetical, the flow carries on. As, so, as long as the brain is considered, this is replaced, but it's not there. So, what happens? In this process, your body carries on building, step by step step by step. So, the, after months, the finger is built, and you move the system further back out as it's built. We think the best perfect gap between the two is about three to five millimeter. In our test, we've seen this. So, in fact, when you create three to five millimeter gap, you create the condition of the flaw in a nano electrons. Be very aware of the science. <clears throat> every cell, in every part of the body of a man, has a, a specific voltage. And the bank of the brain keeps these specific voltages. So, this cell here uses different voltage than this cell next to it. That's how it knows where to be. So, your brain has a bank of voltage, current, gravitational, magnetical field, for every cell in your body. And this is how it reproduces. So, when you put a unit in front, you allow the formation to come in. If you get, if you change this finger to a knee, when you get a blown up amputation, uh, you walk over a mine, people walk with the sticks for the rest of life. We are thinking, and we bring into operation, to do this with the new amputations. This technology will be sent as a gift to the Iranian nation, in the coming weeks. For the mines which were set in south of Iran by the Iraqis during the Iran war. It will be sent to the Iraqi government, for their people, who go through the same. We are all one race. And we let them, at a point of operation, young child losing a um, limb, walking over a landmine which was planted 30 years ago, 
in Africa, in Mozambique and the rest, we are infiltrating into Africa very heavily from now on. Infiltrating to teach the technology. We would like to see how many governments refuse this. Total cost, less than one cent to produce this material. We are not talking about millions. This place, to save a man, a child, from limping, from disability of lifetime, is one cent. Now, we have opened the production. As you know, if you do not know, I announce it now that you understand. We have called for 10 nations manufacturing to come into operation from Tuesday of next week. We have called for a meeting of them. Which means, instead of going and say Keshe Foundation in Holland is producing, attacking us all, we produce in 10 nations at the same time all the systems of the Keshe Foundation. The medical, the agriculture, the health, the energy. In the coming days, Cash Foundation will announce the Blueprint website. The Blueprint website is for the companies, organizations around the world, not for individuals. Because of the reasons we have, at this moment of time, we are not opening it to individuals. For the Cash Foundations around the world, who have the structure, to start manufacturing. So, by the end of September, is not Cash Foundation as you buy the energy system from, you buy from 10, 15 cash foundations around above the energy system. Health unit, the pens, the pads, these plates, all will be supplied across the cash foundation team. They carry the flag of the cash foundation, is the trust of the knowledge in the new technology. So, we do not go to fight nation by nation, authority by authority. We make it available across the world to whole humanity. We produce in Africa, we produce in South America, we produce in Europe, we produce in China, we produce in um, Thailand, in Philippines, that is for people's decision what to do with it, is available across the world. So, technology from this week is opened up internationally. We cannot be stopped. We have become a force in science that our force is to serve humanity. If less than one dollar can save a life of misery, I'm prepared to go to prison for it. If a child can have a leg which got blown up by the mine, which Vatican paid for it in Iran, I'm prepared to go to prison for life, that the child has a life of leg. It's gift of life. It's our responsibility to stand for what we believe in. From Tuesday, the Keshe Foundation worldwide team will set up factories to produce. We know a number of you are ready. If you are a manufacturer, we will not respond to single people. 